I'm Tom Waters and I play um, Sam in the episode Too Perfect. Sorry I'm a little scruffy for this interview. I'm, I'm in New York and uh, I'm a couple weeks away from working in a 1970s film with uh, Julianne Moore and so they told me I need to grow out my beard and my hair for a while. As the name of the episode implies, uh, my character is a little too perfect and he wants everything to be meticulous and perfect and drives his poor <laughs> assistant crazy with uh, constantly making changes. You know, Sam, we really need to just finish up with these edits. It's the tenth version we've sent the designer. Yeah, I know. It has to be perfect. And when I'm sure it is, then it can go out. What we learned is that my assistants put a spell on me and made me completely unorganized. No more need to rearrange. Perfection, please, from all of you. So my characters hired the organizer to come in and just straighten up some files and stuff. And the, uh, the organizer kind of gets on to Carol and uh, realizes she put a spell on me and has to help organize my now disorganized life. I think the, the premise of the organizer, because you don't really know if she's like a real person or this mystical entity, uh, it really makes it interesting. I have never worked with a professional organizer, although I probably should. <laughs> if I could hire the organizer, I would definitely have her organize my office and my library. I've been trying to find a way to work with Judy Norton for a while now, and um, I've known Judy and, and Cindy for a bit, and this came about, and what a better way to get to work with Judy. We don't call Judy Mary Ellen very often, but uh, you know it's pretty hard to escape that she was a, a big TV star for a while. <laughs> uh, an interesting thing about working with Judy is uh, when you rap, uh, she insists that uh, we say good night to the, all the cast and crew. You know, like you know, good night, Jewel. Good night, Judy. Good night, Cindy. Good night, Tino. So. Uh, yeah, so that's a little holdover, I guess, from her TV days. Working on Disorganized Zone was uh, one of the best sets I've ever been on. Uh, working with Judy's fantastic, Cindy's fantastic. Um, getting to act with Jewel, that was uh, great. Jewel is a fantastic person, fantastic actress. I had a great time with her, but uh, the whole set was fun from the script supervisor to the prop person to the makeup person to the sound guys, uh, professional but really fun set. We had a, a really funny thing happen um, in a break. Uh, I was trying to take a nap but I kind of had one eye open and um, Jewel was going to sneak up on me and scare me but I had a sunglasses on and I saw her coming and just as she got to me I, I jumped up and yelled at her and scared the crap out of her. I think the show will have um, broad appeal. Anybody that remembers The Twilight Zone is going to be curious about it. But I think the younger audiences will love it. I mean, we have some younger characters and we have some older characters. But it, it's just a fun show all the way around. You know, it's not unlike a modern sitcom, but with a little bit of the uh, Twilight Zone flair to it. The, the writing is great and, and, and every little scenario and plot is... Uh, really fun and, and you can't necessarily uh, figure them out uh, right away and I, I think that's a sign of good writing so you, you have to kind of go to the end of it and be surprised. It's uncertain who, if anyone, learned a lesson here but it is one of those lessons to be learned in the extremities found within the disorganized zone.